Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World and I am Deb Chanel. So welcome over to the house, okay? It's Friday night, uh, 10, 12 p.m. in the evening hours. Yes, Friday. Yes, Friday, honey. And we're trying to catch up on some stories that are out there trending on social media. Yep, we're trying to get to it all, all right? But I wanted to touch bases with this uh, story that Candy pretty much brought out on her channel, um, Candy Online. And honey... She got into trying to introduce the segment of what she was trying to present to us. And Todd was looking at her like, oh, you forgot again. I was like, what is he talking about now? Child. He was mad because she didn't say, this is Candy and Todd. I'm like, girl, we really need to find him some business to be attentive to because, bless you, because God knows he is all up your snatch and just ready to be everywhere you're filming at. I'm like, why Todd can't start his own little show? Why he always have to be up under you? But I can understand for this particular segment, you wanted to get his side, how he felt, and the surrogacy, uh, about the surrogacy process and all that. And then you had Shadina over there trying to get her side. But to tell you the truth, I would let, let Todd have and say what he had to say on a man's perspective or a man's perspective. And I had to push him out to the side <laughs> and get the perspectives. Because it's more so, I ain't going to say it's women that really need to know everything. But because you might have a conscious man that wants to know all the ins and outs from beginning to end. And somewhere in the middle, he want to ask his questions or how, you know, just a, um, a man that's really in tune with the feminine side and the ins and outs of what they feel about pregnancy in general. You know, you have those men that are manly men, then you have those men that are kind of fem feminine in touch with their feminine side, a fem feminine side, feminine side, y'all know where I'm going with it, lady side, okay? And they tend to be a little bit more hands-on and more vocal about certain things when, you know, uh, the whole process of someone else carrying their baby and whatnot. And when, you know, they have, the, some of them are outspoken when you're actually carrying that baby the normal way of what society deems as normal at the time or through generation, generation, generations. From the beginning of time, I should say, you know, he wanted to give his perspective. But I'm like, I would love to see Todd get his own program, his own little YouTube show, and let us just see how he rock without having anybody, you know, around of him to play up to or he feel like he need his time to shine and you just overshadowing him, Candy. That's what I would like to see. I'm just saying. A brother be always, oh, he just be too much over you. And I ain't saying a man shouldn't be that way. But most men have things that they need to be getting done. They have things that they need to be partaking of with other fellas. You know what I'm saying? But this man is just totally up. Okay, we ain't hear about that. I'm just getting on my soap pop. I'm just seeing things and I'm like, mm. Uh, I don't know. Y'all see how my, my salt and pepper shade is growing in real nice. I'm trying to, uh, what do you call it, um, bring out my mature side. And most people don't like gray, but I kind of like my gray. It's blending in. It shows wisdom. You know, an experience I went through. I took my um, twist down or my plaits down. and My hair has definitely grown, and it's so thick and as you can tell I got edges on it. I got edges but I don't know anyway anyway boo that's just a massage but let's go on and just try to get to this story that Celebrity Insider brought out but like I said Candy pretty much brought it out on her uh platform Candy Online her YouTube channel yeah gone over there she's uh bringing out speak on it and I don't know she got this Todd and Candy and I'm like no it just need to be Candy honey and when you want to bring him in you can say okay we got Todd here as a special guest he's here da 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 whatever okay and let hell but anyway I like to see more of Candy or you know maybe you should give like a another YouTube channel that says Candy and Family or Candy Family and Friends. Something to that nature. I'm just throwing our opinions for you, boo. Because when we come on the tube, we want to see, well, I ain't going to say we. Let's just say Delphine Chanel. 
Delphine from Dib Chanel's Four Days Word. I want to see you, Candy. I want to, you know, learn from you because even old heads can learn new things. You know what I'm saying? OGs can learn from the new OGs, okay? We can. Those who are very in tune with themselves and have a little, uh, high self-esteem with themselves, they can come down, bend down and say, oh, okay, that's what the young folk doing now. Mm, that ain't a bad idea, you know, or we can do construct, constructive criticism to them and tell them the errors of their ways and their, that path that they're going down that ain't going to be good, okay? But anyway, let's go on and get to the article. It was written by uh, a Nick Marcus, I believe this is. It's telling me here. I hate when my phone act up. Like, get back to the Canterbury story. No, it's by my friend. Uh, in my mind, she my friend. Uh, Ricky Mathers. Okay, and they're talking about sur surrogacy. Candace bringing Shadina in. She was the one that was privy to carry um, the Burr's Tucker, baby Blaze Tucker. Okay, for them. She didn't know she was going to be actually caring for them. It was supposed to be like a meet and greet from what I've heard. And she said on Cand Online. Uh, platform her YouTube station that she was just supposed to meet and greet get them uh, pretty much aware about surrogacy and answer any questions or concerns but the fit was just so perfect and with Dr. Jackie's help and her pushing and her nudging she just told Candace honey this woman's best for you she's been doing it she done had a few pregnancies she's you know top of my line of a pig da 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 and Candy just fell in love with and went with her okay mm -hmm. whatever but the title of the article that Ricky Mathers had put out for her bosses over there at Celebrity Insider yeah she's a correspondent journalist commentarist if you want to if that's even a word I just made it up sound good to me okay and I said it all <laughs> Okay, but anyway, the title was like, Candy Burris opens up about family member who really hurt her feelings when she chose surrogacy. Now, I say, you know, family, they do, they do, they can cut you like none other, okay, or no other person can, because they know your weaknesses, or they think they know your weaknesses, all your flaws, all your happy moments, all your bad moments, and they try to get under your skin, you know what I'm saying? But honey, Candy, I'm going to tell you the truth, you did not do anything wrong, honey. You didn't feel fit that anybody was in the family, Todd's family or your family, that could hold a candle to holding your baby in place. Because nine times ten, that person that was carrying your baby, they were going to probably put you on a contract. They want you to sign none. Just everything. Like there's some celebrity out there. And they want to get the best money they could possibly get out of you and this, that, and the third. And then when they get mad at you after the baby come, they'll probably say, well, that's my child anyway. I cared her. Or they'll say some slick shit like, um, if it weren't for me, you couldn't have had that baby. It is a whole lot of games. So sometimes it's good not to put your family in your personal, personal business, especially talking about bringing a baby in the world. See this dog? I tell you. Okay. But anyway, what was I? Oh, I got to talk about the family. Yeah, family can be so mean sometimes. When they get mad at you, they don't think you're doing good for them. They'll throw that baby situation, you know, back up in your face. Like, no, you wouldn't have no baby for me. And it'll just be going, you know, just like a fire burning and spreading all around the family. Got a little family line, hotline going on. Well, yeah, can should have did more for you. Well, yeah, that baby wouldn't have been here if it weren't for you. It's too much. So she did the right thing. Thing. Yes, go outside so you won't have to hear nothing. You pay the money you have to pay. You be the um, spokesperson or cheerleader for that person that's carrying your baby. You check on them as much as they will allow you to check on them. When the baby comes, you could servitize. Or if you felt something new like you, you're doing, you're actually blending the family in with the surrogacy because yeah if it wasn't for the lord and for her to have good working parts to be able to you know oven carry your baby i like to say then hey it just is what it is okay so i hope it don't turn bad going on down the line it seems like it's a good thing and it, it went very well for you 
And I know it seems like you're trying to give her more business. I don't know if she can carry everybody's child. Cause, you know, sometimes your body need a rest, too. And if I was her, I'd let take a break uh, a year or two off from being a surrogate for somebody. Because your body got to replenish. You got to rejuvenate. And then, hell, you don't want your children to send you all the time all plumped up, carrying a load for somebody else. They want their mama to themselves. So, yes, I would think Shadena need to pump her brakes. Because I'm sure Candy, and well, I'm say Candy, paid her a lot to be able to sit down for a couple of years if she needed to and then can it will probably be a resource for her as far as you know providing referrals to her her cause i'm sure it's her service that she got up there wink wink little entrepreneur over there get some candy birds knowledge out there and spreading the word yeah she's gonna be banked okay but i would love to see her being banked as um having other surrogates under her bill that she can you know um refer out for them to carry other people's children because it is a blessing i see you know if you can't have it by yourself then yeah go and adopt do the ivf treatment if you can afford it and and, and just have children because there's a lot of children that can be adopted out there that want you know good families and for some reason you know they're in the system or whatnot but Love is love, okay, and I, I ain't even gonna, I'm gonna go even go further and say, you know, you can get children out your race. You don't never necessarily have to stay in your race. If they have a need, you have a love, you have an open heart and a, a good home to provide food, shelter, and clothing for a child. Why not, okay? <sighs> Without that, with that said, let's get on into this article, okay? But, honey, throw the deuces up to whoever family member made you mad and want to talk all that slide shit that's why you didn't invite or suggest somebody carry your baby for you and your family because of that kind of mess so i applaud you candy for not even getting in the mix and just saying uh-uh we 86 that idea okay deuces i'm gonna go with somebody i don't really know but she can highly recommend it my feelings around her my emotions my aura my peace of mind when i'm with her nothing was negative nothing was you know like ooh, making me think a certain way to ask more questions like i didn't feel her all the way out or i felt something that you know was unsaid that i needed to straighten up before we sign our names on the dotted line that we want her as you know a surrogate for us to carry our baby at my eggs taught sperm into her oven okay I didn't feel nothing about it. I feel only positive vibes from her. So I'm going with her, okay? Because I made this money, right, Riley? We out of here. Because <laughs> I'm sure Riley would like, you don't need no more babies. But okay, I know you don't want to throw your egg away. I get the whole concept and the baby and the attachment with the eggs and this. Okay, mama, but the, you ain't got no more eggs hiding around here, do you? Because I'm tired, honey. I, I'm the first bunny. I'm the first bunny. Then you got bunny ace. Now you got bunny blaze. Let that be enough, okay? But I ain't gonna promise I'm gonna be there for baby blaze all the time. I got ace. I got ace, but I'm blaze gonna know I'm her sister, but god damn, mama. If I you don't got me strung out. I'm trying to go out to college. I ain't got time for all that mess you talking about. No, I don't. No, I don't know. But anyway, moving from that situation, we'll go back to the article because I know y'all probably forgot the title. You know, all my rambling going on. I don't tear it too long. But the article title that Ricky Mathers put to her commentary, her article, it uh, reads, Candy Burris opens up about family member who really hurt her feelings when she chose surrogacy. Okay? The story was brought out on actually today. Uh, Pacific Standard Time Zone, 425 p.m., all right? We're going to go right on into it. It says, struggling to conceive a carry naturally is a struggle many women go through that is unfortunately still treated like a taboo. Candy Burris is using her platform and experience as a teaching tool to explain the process of surrogacy. Unfortunately, not everyone was supportive when they found out that another woman was carrying her new baby girl, Blaze Tucker, family. Don't they get in your... Don't they get in your ass and make it irritate sometimes? And I mean for the negative. You just want to go up some upside that person head who's saying all this negative stuff, trying to start stuff within the family. Up, oh, you just want to knock them upside the head, okay? Say, so have you bumped your head? Do you know who you talking to? Am I borrowing any money from you, boo? Why is it even causing you? A idea to make a response? You don't have an opinion on this. Did I inquire? No, I did not. Okay. 
Next time you're going to need something, mm, it's going to be a weight. It's going to be a weight because I have to feel like how I feel. How you making me feel nice and secure. You make my uh, self-esteem go low. And I don't like that feeling. So, hmm. Once we cross this bridge, I don't got over everything. I don't threw caution to the wind. Had my baby, whatever. When you want something. Boo, you might not get it just because of your actions today. Okay? Sometimes you just have to be on the bench and watch the game play. Not that I ain't worried about what you're saying or that you need to be out there. It just wasn't your time to speak and you outspoke yourself. Okay? Anyway, moving back. That was my sidebar. I get them from time to time, so deal with me. Okay? But anyway, um, it goes back and says, in a new Speak On It video uploaded to her YouTube channel, she recalled a time that one of her family members hurt her feelings. And I know, honey, I looked at her when she was expressing herself. And Candy, you know, she can't hide nothing because it just tells out in her whole demeanor how she presents herself. When she's very upset about something, it comes out. It shows she ain't no good tell I put it like that. I want to have Candy playing on the poker uh, card game with me. Or no spade game with me. Because she, she'll just tear her hand by her expression. And then I'll be up there cussing her ass out. And, and trying to, you know, do other foul things to her. Because she done made us lose a whole truckload of money. You know what I'm saying? Because most people... I guess when you're young, you play spades for fun. But when you get older, you play spades for money. It's just how it is. <laughs> okay, that's just how it is, y'all. Card games. Dominoes. Uh... Shit, I don't know. You go bowling. Everything is just like a competitive type thing. And, Ke and Candy Burris, if I were told her, she's very competitive when it comes to this, that, and the third. So, yeah, I don't think she wanted to take that. So, somebody chin-checked her, but she take TKO their ass, okay? I'm just saying, from what I heard, what she gave me, and what I'm reading in this article, she still did what she had to do, regardless of how they felt or which way they felt about the situation. She did what she had to do, and I like, I applaud you, Candy, and I salute you, babe. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, there was, there was a moment where I definitely felt guilty. I got a little teary-eyed. Candy, you always get teary-eyed, honey, so... <sighs> And I, you got to watch folks that um, be silent for a little bit, and then they get, like, teary-eyed. Because them folks, they'll, they'll come out the bushes on you and beat you to a pole, okay? And you will never know what happened. They probably be surprised shit out of them, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they were just so angry, so they had to pounce on somebody, and you happen to be their target. So, yeah, you got to watch them kind of sort of quiet people. And then when they start crying, they're just like a tornado, not a tornado, but a, a, a volcano fin on a rope. Until it starts that oozing and burst out and starts sliding down. That's when uh, can and eyes get teary out. And you better watch out for it, Todd. You better watch out for it. Wink, wink. Okay, don't be trying. Mm. Cut that head off, okay? I'm just saying. But anyway, going back to the article, it said uh, she felt teary eyed because there was a family member of hers. They just kind of texted me when they first found out. I was thinking about a surrogate, and they were like, I mean, why you want to have a surrogate? Don't you want to just carry the baby yourself? Evidently, this wasn't a friend. Uh, I mean, this wasn't a family member that knew about your business. So I'm thinking, what was that light-skinned girl name that was kind of heavy-set that kind of got in folk business all the time? I can't think. I want to say her name is Queenie. I think I think that's our cousin. So I know Queen didn't want to try to have no baby. Candy was looking for somebody that wasn't having any medical issues, didn't have any medical issues like diabetes, blood pressure problem, just a whole gamut of stuff. She wanted her baby to come out as healthy as possible, and putting it in somebody that have ailments already not a good look, not a good look at all. Okay, so if they felt some kind of way, or they felt they needed that money that Candy was paying some. Um, person that she didn't even know they felt that they needed that money because that's all it was um, play on money not play on feelings like I can help you do this because if that was the case you would have known that Candy was having trouble after Ace and hell she told us on TV so I find it very odd that this family member didn't get a clue uh, or very in tune with her cousin Candy to know she had problems with carrying Ace and she did not want to mess up her body again or put her in a situ a medical condition or situation that you know it would have been more a high risk pregnancy for her I meaning she could because you know like I said um in the past videos carrying a baby or baby birth is a 50 50 50 that 50 50 chance it's very life-threatening you can you know stay well with the baby both of y'all can come out no problems then it can turn left and you die giving birth to a child child live but you gone so 
Man, I don't know about that cousin or a, a family member. I don't know if it was an aunt, niece, cousin, whoever it was, but they, they had no right. But, you know, like I said, the closest ones to you, and that's really your family members or people you don't adopt it to put in your family, they are the ones that tear you up the most. They always saying, don't let people that you don't know that's not family get too close to you because they'll, you know, use you and abuse you. But, hell, sometimes it just be your own family members doing the same thing, but they don't realize that. They think you you owe them something. I'm like, did you change my diaper? Did you hear my mama when she ain't had no money? Girl, you know. And if it's a guy, guy. Okay, I'd be like, Get out of my way, okay? But anyway, that was just my sidebar. You know, I go through them sometimes. But let's get on back to the story. It said, um, it was on text message. I replied and was like, well, I would if I could. But obviously, I have issues with delivering in my last pregnancy. See what I'm saying? They were like, don't you want to be able to bond with your baby? They said some stuff. They said some other stuff like, why wouldn't you just get one of your family members to help you? It was just a lot. And I was just like, okay, family member last. She really hurts my fi She really hurt my feelings. Girl, I went all up in her ass of what I would have been doing. And I really wouldn't be telling this on social media because, okay, you she hurt your feelings. But, Candy, was this really appropriate for you to say? Like you calling that person out? Because, hell, you might well would have called her out because everybody knowing the family now. Mm-hmm. I want to see what your uh, Christmas going to be like. <laughs> Y'all gonna be fighting over there, ain't you? If y'all have that whole family come over there, especially you invite the one that sat up there and told you you didn't have, need to have no stranger carrying the baby, okay? I'm like, girl, honey, I would have got her off camera, off the family. I, I don't know, maybe y'all gonna fight at the family reunion, you know, or y'all gonna fight at the Christmas party that your family go to. I don't know, honey, but I, yeah. I'll be checking everybody. I'll be like, anybody can get it today. So come on, tell me what you got to say. So you, you'll you know not to say anything to me come 2020 because I want to get you all together while we ending up this year. So y'all be saying, I did this or I didn't do that or whatever this, you know, crawling up y'all behinds and y'all want to itch it and try to throw salt at me. Something, honey. I'll be getting them all straight. So we won't go in with anybody feeling us any kind of way. For the negative for 2020. Well, guess what? I'm finna leave you in 2019. You think about it. And about time the ending of 2020 ends, then maybe we can talk about it because you really had a whole year to be in your feelings about something that ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay? I don't tear it too long. Let's get back to the story. Okay? Um, She goes on to say, she went on to say that she doesn't think that the unnamed relative was saying those things to be me. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. It was better for her to say it straight up because she meant it or he meant it, whoever it was. It's better for them not to have been drunk because then you know secrets come out when you're drunk. That's what they really want to say when they sober, but they, they feel some kind of way. So they hide behind being drunk. So they could say, well, no, I didn't really mean that. Da, da, da. But yes, you did. So I'm glad that the person showed their hand or who they really are. They meant to can it. They meant it, baby. Slow your roll on giving them finances. In the future, they'll keep their mouth shut and their opinions not needed for anything unless it's going agreeing with what I say. Okay? But anyway, um, going back to the article, it said, um, the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta have been open about their struggles to conceive or bring a baby to full term. Her co-star, Kenya Moore, is considering surrogacy to welcome a sibling for her daughter, Brooklyn Day. Ah, see, Candace, sit your, I mean, can, can, can you sit your ass down, okay? This is down, okay? We... See, she just messed up the whole thing. I ain't know Kenya was going to be up here talking stuff. But let's just finish the article, okay? Because it was about Candy. It wasn't nothing about Kenya. I don't know. I, I might talk to Ricky Mathis. Okay, it's good. It's good article uh, dropping, tea dropping. Okay, let them go on. It said, um, Kenya is thinking about surrogates for, for a sibling for baby Brooklyn. Kenya also had to undergo IVF to welcome her first daughter. Portia Williams is now the mother of beautiful rainbow a uh, baby named Pilla McKinley after previously previously having a miscarriage. What in the world about a rainbow baby? I don't know what that is. Y'all tell me what a rainbow baby is. Is she being kind of slit racist? I don't know. I don't know about Ricky Mathis. We're going to check into her. But anyway, 
she ends up her commentary by saying it's it's great to see that women are speaking up to normalize things that other women go through okay okay i have agreed with the article that ricky mathers put out that i'm trying to say i'm trying to look at her now let me see well, she, okay she's the floridian um uh, culture okay no she's black okay independent writing for a number of entertainment based publications okay i am on my way to the top of the celebrity inside scoop game okay all right okay but she's mostly in okay i can be found with my ear to the streets and toes in the sand uh after all my aim is the la of the south honey okay no allowing georgia is the cream of the crop called baby new york and moving heavily uh, getting a lot of uh hollywood hollywood oh. hollywood oh. okay Come on away, come on the Hollywood, come on the Hollywood. Yeah, we supposed to be the new Hollywood in Georgia because a lot of film productions people are coming here. A lot of celebrities are coming here. Hell, Tyler Perry is here. Woo, child. Okay, okay. Let's see where Miss Floridian, but right now she's in Florida. Ricky Mathers, but okay, I didn't like the latter part of her article, but okay, we're gonna keep a little eye on her. But oh, y'all, that's all I have for this video. Okay, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about, it. you know, from Tar entering in, wanting to be Candy and Todd, Todd and Candy, Candy and Todd. I'm like, man, please leave that mess alone. Then y'all get in them comments and tell me what y'all thought about this so called relative speaking her mind but ain't nobody told her to get to the microphone or get to the camera and cut on anything as far as a dialogue on, on what candy was going through through her surrogacy 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 yeah surrogacy okay so it just is what it is y'all get down in the comments tell me what y'all thought about it thumbs up though thumbs up this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my video channel okay subscribe 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 like share my videos but subscribe 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 and i'll see y'all next video bye bye